Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the Python series where we are trying to learn Python in a step by step manner. My name is Mukesh Kala. I am a four times UiPath most valuable professional, certified solution architect and an advanced RPA developer. And recently I have also got the LinkedIn top voice. I have shared my LinkedIn details on the page. Feel free to send me a connection request and I would be happy to be part of your network. In the previous videos of the playlist, we have already seen what exactly is Python, how do you set up the environment, what are comments, and we have also seen how we can create the variables. In case you are not aware of any of these or in case you don't have the Python installed, I would request you to watch the previous videos that will give you Python, the background, and you would be able to continue with this series. Lastly, in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next videos in the same playlist having said that let's get started okay so now to get started with i'll go back to my vs code which is this guy and this is the same solution which we created for the variables right so i'll close this and i will close this as well right before directly going to today's topic which is about the arithmetic operations i would request you guys to please open up your python editor and practice along these videos that way you would have a very clear understanding of the concepts and you would yourself learn a lot of new things right so that is just a humble request that please open the python editor and try to follow along these tutorials okay so today in this video we are going to discuss uh, something about the arithmetic operation that how we can do the basic addition subtraction division multiplication and i would be also talking about uh, something which is called uh, assignment operator right so to get started with i will just go here and i will again create a new file and i will call this as uh, arithmetic or maybe I'll just call this as uh, operators, right? Operators dot py, right? And that should create me a new Python file. It's always happy. It's it's always good to have the separate file so that we can easily follow along it after some time, right? So the first thing first, I will just put a comment at the top so that when I come back, I realize that why I have written this code, right? So this is for the arithmetic operations right and now you might you guys might be noticing that we are building upon the top of what we have actually understood what we have already learned in the previous videos right comments we have already learned variables we have already learned right so let's say today i have a simple task i have to add two numbers subtract two numbers multiply two numbers how do we do that right so first thing first we need to have the numbers to store right so we need variables right so how do we create variables we have already seen that so i'll go here and i'll write something which is called first num right we don't need to declare the data type as already discussed and then i will create something which is called second num right good practice always have a proper name so now in the first name i first number i am passing 1000 and in the second num i am passing 500 right so now let's say i simply want to do the sum of the two numbers right so sum is basically done with the help of plus right so how do i do that it's absolutely simple you just have to put plus between the both the variables and that should give you the sum right so i'll just again put a comment and i'll say sum and now to do the sum i will just go here and I'll type the first number hit a plus right that's how you do the plus and then i will just put the second number and that should give me the sum right now here the sum is calculated right but if i want to print the sum how can i print it right so one usual way which you all might have guessed it just write print in front of it and put this thing in the bracket that print the sum right if i save this and i say run okay you would see that i am getting 1500 as the output however let's say i want to use this sum into the other part of the program so the good part is you can store this into a new variable so one way is just directly printing it the other way is I can create a new variable of sum 
and in the sum I pass this same thing. I am telling Python that in the sum add both the numbers and put it in the sum. Now instead of printing it I can print the sum and that print I can just remove. other way of doing it right so i'll save this and run now when i run this you would see that i am getting some errors right and some of you might have already guessed it because of the variable the s here is capital and i am printing a small s right case sensitive right discussed in the last video right so now we are getting the sum right Similarly, in case I want to do a subtraction, so I will put a comment and let's try to do a subtract S U B S T R A C T subtract, right? Same like this, I can create a new variable called difference D I F F, right? And then I can just say whatever value you have in the first number, which is 1000 minus the second number. Right. By the way, you can do the first number minus first number as well, right? And you can do the complex mathematics as well, right? And now I just want to print here the difference. But now one thing you would realize here when I save this and I run this file, right? You see that 1500 and 500 are coming, right? But I am not able to understand which one is the sum and which one is the difference, right? Wouldn't it be good if I am just able to add something in front of the sum and add something in front of the difference and say that hey this is the sum and this is the difference. So to do that when you are printing it right here before printing the sum I am telling it to just write this sum of the two numbers and put a comma. And that way this would be concatenated and here I say that before printing this just write difference between the two numbers 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 and then we put a comma here save this and let's try to run this and now this time the output should be formatted sum of the two numbers is 1500s difference of the two numbers is 500 so i think instead of this two i will write it two right so i hope you got the idea that how we do the normal arithmetic operation right same like this if you have to do the multiplication just put a star mark you would be able to do the multiplication in case you want to do the division put the division right i'll quickly do it so here in case we want to uh, do the multiplication so I can just directly print it and I say in the double quotes multiplication right I'm just trying a different syntax so that you guys understand that all of this is you can do right so I say first number multiply by second number right so that way it will print the multiplication I can copy I can put it here and here I say division and instead of this uh, multiply symbol I'll put a division right and then good practice these two are for let's say multiply and division save this and maybe I want to clear this so CLS to clear the screen run this right now you can see some of the two numbers is 1500 difference between them is 500 multiplication is this and division is 2 right so that's how easy it is to do the arithmetic operations now when I talk about the arithmetic operation there is something which is called reminder right let's say I want to know the reminder right so I can also find the reminders as well so for example I have this uh, let's do a small sum right so I have this first number as uh, maybe 10 and the second number I will change it to 3 okay and now I just say print and uh, in the print I am saying 
reminder right so i want to divide the number and i want to get the reminder right so i'll put a comma and then i simply say whatever you have in the first number sorry my bad whatever you have in the first number so by the way i'm uh, pressing control space to get the variable name okay so that's a feature of the vs code so first number and now i am going to use a symbol which is called mod which is this guy which is the percentage and then the second number right and this i am trying to put put it in the this variable which is the reminder right i'll save this and here you can see here when i it is showing me some kind of an error because the syntax for print is small p and not the capital p okay let's try to save this and run this file so now the numbers will change you can see here uh, sum is 13 uh, number is 7 division is this but the remainder is coming as 1 right uh, when you divide 10 by 3 3 into 3 is equal to 9 and you will get a remainder of 1 so that's why you are getting a remainder of 1 right exactly nothing but the mod right so all these functions are available for you to try in python right you can do something more complex in python as well so for example you have a third number as well right so i can go here and i say third underscore number and i will uh, make the calculation simple maybe i will call it as uh, 10 maybe yeah and i'll call it as 20 and i'll call this as 5 right so now if i have to do uh, some kind of you know bracket kind of something that's also is possible so for example i say print right and then uh, or not print right let's let's create a new variable right so i will create a new variable call maybe the result right so in the result variable right i want to first uh, maybe add both of them so i can put bracket and i can say first term plus second num right and then whatever is the sum 10 plus uh, 20 is 30 and then i want to divide it by the third num right so that way now if i just go and i say print and i say just directly printing the result so whatever we get in the last that would be the result right so just try to run this and uh, you would be able to find that it is able to do this right so it's coming as 6 right because first plus second it's uh, 20 plus 30 30 divided by 5 is 6 right that's why you are getting the 6 but if i just remove this bracket from here normal maths right i'll just remove this bracket from here save this previously the result was 6 let's try to do it now and this time the result is 14 right so because of the formula called BODMAS, right? So first it will do the division. So 20 divided by 5 is 4 and 10 plus 4 is 14, right? So the whole idea is that you can also put brackets and write your own equations as well, right? Next, I want to talk something about the assignment operator. So I will go here and I will create a new file. I will call it as assignment underscore operator right dot py so assignment operator you have already seen but you might have not noticed that you are already using the assignment operator right so i'll call this as the assignment uh, operator okay what is an assignment operator whenever you have to assign value to something so i create a variable called uh, let's say first name and now i have a value which is mukesh I want to assign Mukesh to the first name. How do I do that? I use the assignment operator, which is equal to, right? So that's the assignment operator, right? Okay, so let's try to do something else. I can have an integer variable, maybe integer underscore variable, right? And I can just assign it a value of 10. And the operator again, which I have used is equal to, right? So that means now this 10 is passed to this variable, which is the integer variable okay and now if i have to simply print the value again the same concept we can actually use this like this print and i say value and then to print the value you just put a comma and then pass the variable which is int underscore 
variable right and that should print this as 10 right so equal to operator assign 10 and that is getting printed here right now there is some important thing which you can also do with this uh, equal to operator or the assignment operator is that if you just go here and you simply write integer variable and then i write plus equal to okay so with equal to now i have also put a plus and then i just write any number let's say five so basically this is exactly the same thing like writing integer variable equal to integer variable plus five so rather than using the integer variable twice now i am just writing this plus equal to which means that whatever value you have in the integer variable which is 10 add 5 to that value right so that way you can have this integer and the assignment operator and the plus operator used together right so maybe i would just like to print it again so i can just use this again here and i say maybe added 5 let's try to save this and run the file okay you can see the value was 10 and then the added 5 and now the result is 15 right similar to this you can and i'll just copy paste this you can actually use it with the other operators such as minus divide multiplication right so if i just put a multiplication here now i am telling the python to multiply whatever value you have here 15 and just multiply it with 4 and then this comment i'll just change to multiply multiply and then i'll change this to 4 right so this you have also learned that when you have to print two concatenate two string together you can do it like this right or i would say two values together you use it like this and I just say run the file and now you can see the initial value was 10 next is 15 and the next is 60 right so with the assignment operator I can actually use the other symbols as well right I have an assignment for you try to use it with the minus sign try to use it with the division sign right and let me know in the comments whether you are able to get this or not right so that's how you can use the assignment operators and the other operators which we have discussed in this tutorial right so that is it i wanted to cover in this video thank you for watching i hope you guys were able to follow along and you guys are also practicing the same with me right any more questions any more doubts feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well right so with that i will wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this content please do subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video in the python series